Seven. This is our equation. You shot whenever, and we'll complete the square. You put some blank us, then on some track. So here we're completing the square. We start out with this equation, and then we can put parentheses around A and B, and then leave the C outside the parentheses. Then you put in some blank us, and you divide the B by two, and then you square it to get this. And whatever you add here, you subtract from here, then you have the vertex form. Then you will have the vertex form, domain and range, all real numbers, inclusive 3 to positive infinity. Graph the polynomial right 2 and up 3. Doing pre-calc is so much fun. And we were like poly, 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 no. So let's find some zeros. There's many different ways you can find zeros. Two of them are factoring and synthetic division, and that's what I'm going to show you right now. There's also many ways to do factoring, but I'm going to use the x box. So in order to do that, you take the x squared and the 10, and you multiply them together and put them on the top. Then you put the 7x on the bottom. Now you have to find two numbers that add to 7 and multiply to 10. So the numbers are 2x and 5x. Once you have that done, you make the box, and you put the x squared into here, and the 10 into here, and the two numbers that you've got into the other two. From here, you put both x's up here, and whatever times x to get 5x, which is 5, and whatever times x to get 2x, which is 2, which comes down here, 5 and 5 negative 5 and negative 2. My bad. So then, another way is to do synthetic division. So say you were given this equation right here and only one of them. So let's say you were only given x plus 5 as one of them. What you're going to do is to make the set that equal to 0, so it's going to be negative 5. And then for the x squared, you're going to have 1. For the 7x, you're going to put a 7. And for the 10, you just put 10. From here, you bring this down, make a 1. 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. Add these two together, and you'll get 2. Then 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. You have a remainder of 0, and this is x plus 2, which gives you your other 0, negative 2. Oh, it's intercepts I found after factoring And my intercepts So when x equals zero Now we're going to find the end behavior Does it rise or Okay, so now we're going to talk about end behavior So first we're going to start with an even degree And when you have an even degree Both ends of your equation are going to be going the same direction So when x is approaching negative infinity f of x will be approaching infinity And when x is approaching infinity f of x will also be approaching infinity However, when you have an odd degree your ends go opposite directions. So when x is approaching negative infinity, f of x is also approaching negative infinity. But when x is approaching infinity, f of x will be approaching infinity. But when you have a negative coefficient, your equation is flipped over the x-axis. So both ends will be approaching the same direction. They'll just be negative. And when you have a negative coefficient with an odd degree, it flips it over the x-axis again. So when x is approaching negative infinity, f of x will be approaching infinity this time. And when x is approaching infinity, f of x will be approaching negative infinity. Degree 2 is done. Rational functions are fun. Now the limits. Use your fingers and just point them towards the point until they meet. I'm following the line, 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 line. And I just can't believe my first limit was found in And we like, like the limits, 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 oh, like limits, 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 oh.
like limits, 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 oh, approach the asymptotes, 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 never cross over their lines. Luda, to find the VA, let's do some factor in. Factor the top and the bottom so we can see the holes and set them to zero for the vertical asymptotes. They had me going crazy, now horizontal. Asymptotes. Compare the coefficients, now what does that mean? We have our boundaries. I make a T-chart and fill in the points and we draw the lines in. We make a graph and come on, keep on breathing. Pre-calc doesn't have us days in, cause it is so amazing. And now you are complaining, cause we just keep on saying, Polly, 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 no meals, factor, factor, factor in, limits, 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 oh, chapter two is now done, asim, 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 toes, Polly, 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 no meals, factor, factor, factor in, chapter two is now done. Now we're done.